Hi, Yoga with Paramal here. Are you having problems while doing sun salutations? Lower back problems, hips, shoulders troubling you, knees bothering you? Well, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to deal with the Yoga with Paramal sun salutation while in salutation and with the group. Let's look at a basic sun salutation. Reaching up nice and slow. And now let's take it three times the pace. One breath per movement. Stepping back into plank. Cobra. Downward dog. Breathing in to step up and conclude. Breathing out to forward bend. Concluding. Now, what shall we do if we actually have a lower back problem? What approach can we take? Let's take this example where you breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, reach down. And when you're on your way down, let's bend your knees. Bend your knees, keep your lower back straight. And then breathe in, elongate from the head to the tailbone to lengthen. Let us see it one more time. Again, breathing in, reaching up. Breathing out, reaching down. Notice the screen on the side, exemplifying what to do with the group class itself. What are we going to do if our shoulders and neck is bothering us, if there's any elbow problems? Most people can just step back and simply go to downward dog. And that works just fine. As a matter of fact, it'll even improve the shoulders and scapula issues. Most people can just simply do a cat-cow breathing while the rest of the class goes into the plank cobra downward dog sequence or simply go into the extended child's pose and wait and simply wait till the sequence completes let's see what it looks like together everybody breathes in steps back the ones with the shoulder elbows problems can simply do the cat cow sequence as you see here breathing into cobra together Breathing out into cat while the rest go into downward dog. And then concluding together. Here we are going into extended child's pose, holding it while the rest of the class just simply goes into the sequence from plank cobra downward dog. And then concluding together. How about the warrior one sequences where the hips and the knees can also trouble you? Let's look at the warrior one sequences together. Simply step up with your lead foot and either keep the right heel up or keep the right heel down. Once again, keep it up or keep it down. If we keep it up, we can do the crescent lunge, which will reduce the pressure on the rear leg hip. Let us try the warrior one now. Right foot is flat, and when you come up, the warrior one will put more pressure on the rear leg hip. Well, here's what we do. If we have a knee problem, keep the lead knee at a 90 degree angle. Lead knee is above the lead ankle. Lead quad is ideally parallel to the floor. Lead shin is perpendicular to the floor. Those are some of the ways we can deal with a 
sun salutation problems in a yoga with paramal class and be capable of actually moving with the group and staying with the group without hurting ourselves. Thank you for watching. If you like our content, find it helpful. Subscribe below, like, share. Notice the links at the bottom also for additional information.